Hello everyone, Father Scott Vanderveer here in the midst of a forest bath. This is something you might remember me talking about before. Forest bath is a Japanese term because so many Japanese people live in urban areas. They have discovered that for their well-being, they need to be able to get away from the city and get out into the, the beautiful experience of breathing with the trees and experiencing the glory of nature. I find that nature does at least as much for me as sitting in a church. There's nothing quite like sitting in a beautiful church or sitting in the presence of the Eucharist. But of course, the Eucharist is meant to remind us that God is present everywhere. If God can be present in bread and wine, the Eucharist points us to the reality that God is present always and everywhere. So on this day of the forest bathing that I'm doing, I'm having some thoughts about feelings that I want to share with you. They're not original. They've been shared by other spiritual teachers over the years, but I think they're important. And I'd like to share this realization. Have you ever realized that you are not your thoughts? Have you ever been able to separate yourself from your thoughts? Do you remember the old philosophy proof that we exist? I think, therefore I am. That's what Descartes said. I think, they, therefore I am. But actually, that's not the proof of who we are because we can observe our thoughts. We're not our thoughts. We're the one observing the thoughts. You've observed your thoughts before. Haven't you ever thought something and thought, oh, I shouldn't think like that? That's what people bring to confession when they confess impure thoughts. Ooh, ooh, that was a, that was a lustful thought. I shouldn't, I shouldn't think that way. Other times we'll catch ourselves having an intolerant thought and then we'll think, oh, that's, that's an ugly thought I just had. Or a racist thought. One of the gifts of the difficulties of the era we're living in is we're becoming more attuned to our, our racism that we may have not realized was there. Oh, that was a racist thought I just had, we might say. One of the most important ways that we catch ourselves having unhelpful thoughts is when we beat ourselves up. Ooh, that was a self-defeating thought I just had. Ugh, that's not a productive thought. That's a hurtful thought. Do you see? We are not our thoughts because we're able to observe them. We're able to critique them. We're able to say, ooh. So we are the observer of our thoughts. When we have that realization, it helps us deal with our thoughts and emotions differently. Past few posts I've been talking about hurt and anger and anxiety and how oftentimes while there are disorders and chemical imbalances that can cause us to get stuck in a thought pattern, our thoughts and our feelings are related to our choice. We're, we're able to choose whether we want to continue in a line of thought or whether we want to let go of it, whether we want to approve of a thought or critique it. So I think that's incredibly interesting for us to consider when we think about feelings. If I have a, a sad feeling, I don't have to believe it. I don't have to get caught up in it. I can simply observe it, allow it to be, allow it to come and then go allow it to exist and then pass. I am more than my thoughts. I'm the observer of my thoughts. I am more than my feelings. Feelings are experiences that I have that move through me, that give me important information. So if we can, as, as the author Michael Singer says, lean back when we have a, a hard feeling, an angry feeling, a anxious feeling, a, a sad feeling. If we can lean back, then we don't have to carry it like it's our identity. We can allow it to just be. Our thoughts are not commands, they're information. Our feelings are not facts, they're information. They reveal to us more about what's going on inside of us, but we don't have to believe them and we don't have to identify them as us. They're not our identity any more than hunger is our identity. I can be hungry and then I can eat. 
and I'm not hungry anymore. It's not who I am, it's an experience I'm having. I can be thirsty and then drink, and then I'm not thirsty anymore. It's not who I am. So, may this thought provide as much peace to you as it does to me. May it help you and I both manage our emotions, our feelings, and our thoughts with greater wisdom. And may the beauty of God's outdoor cathedral fill your heart and mind and soul with peace. Happy forest bath. God bless you.